Checkmate uh, 032 has investigated nivolumab in a number of courts uh, receiving nivolumab either together or with ipilimumab at different doses and after four cycles there have been continued on maintenance nivolumab and to summarize the results uh, these patients have achieved quite impressive response rate in the single edge nivolumab arm is about 18 percent but it's in the region of 30 percent for the combination arm with a disease control rate which reaches about 60 percent for the combination arm the drug seems to be quite well tolerated and the adverse events profile mirrors the adverse events profile of the studies that we have seen in osmo cell lung cancer on the basis of these promising data, there are now trials ongoing looking at nivolumab as a second line treatment against topotecan or amrubicin, and that's a phase three randomized study. But there's also studies looking at maintenance uh, nivolumab. Pembrolizumab was investigated as a single agent in the check in the Keynote 28 study, and that was given uh, as a single agent until progressive disease or anthropotoxicity toxicity or up to two years of treatment. Uh, in this study, the patients were only selected on the basis of PDL1 expression. So, patients who were considered to be PDL1 positive could go into the study, and the assessment was made according to the standard MERC monoclonal antibody clone. The response rate was pretty high, was in the region of 30%, and the drug was very well tolerated. So, also on the basis of these preliminary results, a number of studies have been launched looking at either pembrolizumab in association with standard platinum metoposide chemotherapy as a first line or as a maintenance treatment. So I think there's a lot to be excited about because in small cell lung cancer, unfortunately, from a systemic anti-cancer treatment point of view, we have really had no new drugs over the last 20 years if you exclude amrubicin, which is not approved in, in Europe or in the United States. So we really need something that can help our patients to achieve a better outcome. And I do believe that these drugs can really change the natural history of this disease.